Hey there, it's Coach Yvonne here. Earlier this evening, I was out with a colleague, actually the colleague that suggested I read the book is Marriage for White People. And she is a doctor. She makes a lot of money. She has her own home. She drives a nice car. She is the woman the author describes in the book, the black woman um, that at that level that is unable to find a black man at that level. So therefore, she remains single. And his suggestion is that that woman look outside of her race. Well, my colleague said to me this evening very passionately, she said, Yvonne, I want to date and marry a black man. I understand the options outside of my race, but I want a black man. And I said to her, well, if that's what you want, go out there and get him. So we began to talk about her relationship history. And she mentioned to me that the majority of the guys that she's dated are not as educated as her and they make less than her. And she mentioned one guy she dated seven years ago who made substantially less than her, but everything else in their relationship was fine. She said he was a good lover, a great friend, great um, conversation, great personality, funny, you know, sense of humor, like they had a ball together. The problem came up when she decided to assume and think that because he made less than her, certain situations would be a problem for him. So she began to manage his money without him asking her to do so. She began to watch his pockets without his permission. For example, she said to me, she said, you know, when I'm out with my girls or when I'm out with my peers that are in my same income bracket, if we're out to dinner and we want to order, you know, another drink or another appetizer or dessert, you know, we just order it. But she said when she was out with him, she would be at dinner with him and she may, she might be in a place where she wants to order something else, but then she'll go, oh no, he can't afford it. Or that might be a problem. And I said to her, why did you think that? Why did you make those assumptions? Did he do anything to, to make you feel like if you ordered something else, it would be a problem? Like what made you do that? She goes, what do you mean? He made less than me. I said, so what? Why did you choose to think that? Because what you're doing and your choice of thought is creating a problem that clearly isn't there. And she sat there and she said, hmm, like it never occurred to her. And then she said to me, she said, you know what? Now that I think about it, maybe it wasn't a problem for him because there were times when we would go out dancing and when I was done with one drink, he would bring over another and it was never an issue. It was never anything to talk about. We'd have a good time and we, he, he never brought up anything about his finances. And she said that she's not the kind of woman that goes on dates with guys and, you know, orders the most expensive drinks, orders the, orders the most expensive things in the menu, orders, you know, a five course meal, everything from appetizer straight on up to dessert and everything in between. I said, so why were you making it a problem? And she had no answer. And she said to me, when you're getting your own TV show, and we laughed about it. And I said, from your lips to God's ears. And as we talked, it hit her in the head that perhaps if I had been in her life seven years ago and asked her those hard questions and changed her perspective and gave her a few other things to think about, she might not be single. Now, we both agree that, you know, the majority of a man's identity, whether it's right or wrong, is connected to his wallet, his pockets, his income. We get that. And she talked to me about financial responsibility, how she's always been financially responsible. You know, she's been raised to not blow money, to budget, to live within her means, etc. And so I said to her, you know, relationships are about value. You know, when two people are on the same page with those bedrock values, things like faith, and how to manage money, how you want to raise your children, you know, lifestyle, that sort of thing. When those things, when two people agree on those things, everything else is negotiable. And so I said to her, I asked her, I said, what would happen if you met a guy that made less money than you, but he was as financially responsible as you are? He didn't blow money. He had a budget. He saved some. He spent some. He paid his bills on time. How would that look for you? And she said, hmm, I could work with that. I said, well, then work with it. The next time you meet a guy that makes less from you, that makes, that makes less than you, don't make it an issue. Now, if he makes it an issue, now 
you have space to have a conversation. You get to find out how he feels, if, if there is an intimidation factor there, you know, around the amount of money you make. Um, does he have his own insecurities just about that himself? Because if that is the case, no woman can compete with that. If a guy is insecure about who he is and what he's making and comparing himself to you, there's nothing you can do with that. That's not going to work. However, if he doesn't care and you're not rubbing it in his face and he's not making it an issue and you're able to have a good time and you and you have those values in place, you can have a relationship. So I'm stopping by to tell you all, women watching this, that you know, just in case you run up on a guy that makes less than you, that doesn't have the amount of education you have, but there are some other things there that you can work with, let it play itself out and see if a problem arises and have some conversations around it to see what, if anything, can be worked out. Because I don't think you want to end up like my friend at her station in life, really wanting to marry a black guy when it looks like in her past, she's passed up quite a few that could have worked for her had she had someone in her face asking her those hard questions and making her think about some other things that clearly, and she was able to admit, she hadn't thought about. So don't make assumptions. We all know what happens when we do that. would love to hear your thoughts. Post them in the comments. And as always, thanks for watching and be sure to come back real soon.